Brand new, after the president went to his infrastructure event in Kentucky, he talked to some reporters under the wing of Air Force One. Somebody asked him about a Wall Street Journal item today, uh, if he is planning to go to the southern border next week, and he said that is his intention, but the details are being ironed out. Remember, it has been less than a month since I asked the president on his way to Arizona why it is he goes to border states and not visit the border, and he said at the time, because there are more important things going on at the time, he considered a more important thing a uh, talk about a big investment that the government was making in a chips factory. I, but this goes back to the beginning of the administration. I remember talking to Jen Psaki, asking her why it is the president doesn't want to go to the border. And she uh, would come back as the president's spokesperson saying things like, uh, what would you like him to do? Uh, what impact would that have on the policy? Uh, and... She said at the time that they thought it was more constructive to policymaking at the border for the president not to go. But obviously the calculation has changed that something is not working. And it's worth pointing out that there is no record of President Biden ever visiting the southern border. White House officials point to a 2008 trip where he landed in El Paso, Texas, and then passed some border wall on his way to a fundraiser in Las Cruces, New Mexico. But that's it. He has never done the kind of tour uh, that you see many lawmakers doing. Something else that is notable, after Republicans took control of the House, or it became known after the midterms that Republicans would be in control, Kevin McCarthy came here for a meeting with the president. And the big headline out of that meeting was that Kevin McCarthy invited President Biden to the border. Uh, the president is planning to go next week. Now, according to him, uh, it'll be very interesting to see if he is joined by Kevin McCarthy or someone else. Uh, but this is a first, uh, a border visit by President Biden coming next week around a trip to Mexico. Sandra? I, I mean, it's hard to believe that this is actually happening after so many lawmakers have been calling on him to do exactly that. And I don't just mean Republican lawmakers. Uh, there have been growing bipartisan calls for this president to go see the border for himself. And Peter, I'll remember when you made a lot of news with that question to him, why he isn't going to the border. And paraphrasing, I believe the president said there were more important things to do. Uh, yeah, and there are a lot of important things, and the White House came out at the time to say, uh, basically, show us one poll where people are more concerned about the border than they are about in, uh, the economy, and we're just going to keep focusing on the economy. But something has shifted, and there was also some reporting within the last week or 10 days that behind the scenes, President Biden has been so worked up about the the bad situation, really, at the border, that he's been using a lot of profanity and then apologizing to female staffers that are in his presence when he is expressing himself with four-letter words about the border. And so uh, this has obviously built up, and this does represent a big change from a Biden administration that said, we can manage things from here to an administration that says, we have to send the whole presidential package down to take a look. It'll be interesting to see the reception he gets down there. We were talking to Brandon Judd a couple of weeks ago. He didn't think it would be very warm, so we'll follow that. Hey, got about 90 seconds left here, Peter. You asked the president about the uh, speaker's vote going on uh, in the House of Representatives. What do you have to say? Uh, well, it was a surprise because we had been told that the president wasn't going to insert himself, but uh, we've got the bite right here. No, it's not a good look. It's not a good thing. It's the United States of America, and I hope they get their act together. And I was asking him about that because we've seen Democratic lawmakers on the Hill going to the House floor with popcorn. So they are obviously delighted by some of this across the aisle chaos. The president, though, at least publicly, uh, is not. Although right before he said that he was going to go to the border next week, he did make a joke to reporters that he had just been elected speaker, which... Uh, based on the coverage, we don't believe to be true. And, yeah, and I don't think it can happen constitutionally either. <laughs> Peter, thank uh, you. Yeah. Enjoy Call the rest Jonathan of Turley. Yeah. yeah. All right, thanks. Peter Ducey, thank you.